Hey, what's happening? YouTube, Rajay here to take a look at another beer. Thanks for swinging by to check out another video. I'm going to look at one from here in Ohio. This is actually from Fat Heads Brewing. They are out of Middlesburg Heights, Ohio, and this is the Sunshine Daydream. So this is their Session IPA. Comes in the ABV of 4.9% and 60 IBU. I have not had this one before and looking forward to definitely checking it out. I've had some other ones for Fathead and pretty much has all have always been pleased. So let's go ahead and get this open and get it into a glass. So there we go. We get it into the shaker pint glass. Easily pours out about a two to three finger head that sits uh, slightly off white. Has some nice color to it. The beer itself, as far as the appearance, do have some clarity as you can see there. Lots of carbonation action taking place. When you get it to the light, have a nice golden orange uh, amber kind of color to the beer, which you would expect to have for an IPA. As far as the head again, does have some rockiness there, but also looks to be a little bit of a creaminess as well. Some nice big and small, I guess you could say tight bubbles in there. But a uh, very pleasant looking beer. Some of the chill haze, it may die down as this actually warms up a little bit. Oh, and I am checking also inside the beer. I think these are actually bottle conditioned. Maybe a little bit of uh, floaties around here, which is all good anyway. So not a big deal at all. As far as the aroma, oh wow, so the aroma comes right out of the glass. Nice, great intake of the hops that they use for this one. I don't know if they listed that on the bottle or not. Um, I didn't read any of it before I started to sample the beer here, but you do get a good amount of that dankness coming right out. Not even trying to sniff hard, it kind of pours out very nicely. You do get some of that um, grapefruit sensation that you usually get with an American IPA. You do have that fruitiness on the tins, but it's really more of the hops that are driving out of this beer. The more you actually take it in, you start to get more like maybe like a pineapple sense as well. Maybe a little bit of a mango but a very fruity and tropical uh, flavor in there as well. Uh, as far as the taste, hmm, it's kind of interesting. You definitely get the sensation of the IBU because you're getting that up front on the tip of the tongue. That duration of the flavor does last around a pretty good amount of time. You can definitely feel it, not just in the front, but to the back of the mouth and into the throat as well which is actually pretty nice. Do you get some astringency on the back end, kind of giving you a little bit of that pucker sensation. As far as the body, it's kind of a light to medium, a little bit more to the medium. Not too watery at all. Nice crisp finish on the back end. The more I'm drinking it, the more I'm getting the flavors also up into the cheek area. So it definitely has a nice freshness to it as well. Not really too much. Everything you would kind of want in an IPA, but this one coming in at a lower ABV, so you're not gonna get really too hammered. Unless you have, I don't know, a good amount of these. That duration is still lasting around pretty good. Now it's into that cheeks area, which is nice. So overall, it's kind of a nice little beer that they put together here from uh, Fat Heads. If you've had it before, let me know what you think. Put some comments in the comment section. But for me, I think it's a pretty solid offering. I don't drink a lot of the Session IPAs. But I think this one actually delivers a nice sensation of a full IPA without having, again, that ABV. So for me, I'm actually gonna give this one a rating of a 3.5 or a B. 3.5 out of five, I think it holds together very nice as an IPA. And I think if you're an IPA fan, it's something you may be uh, willing to check out. Again, this is uh, Fat Heads Sunshine Daydream. If you've had it, put some comments in the comments section. Let me know what you think about it. But with that, I'm gonna go ahead and say cheers. I appreciate you swinging by to check out another video. Hopefully I'll catch you in the next one. If you like what you saw, as always, make sure you hit that like button. And of course, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe to stay up to speed on the videos. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Keep drinking good craft beers. Cheers.